Joy and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very exciting video because we are going on a hike and we are going on a hike to the Hollywood sign for the first time. I'm a born and raised Cali girl, but I have never hiked the Hollywood sign. I saw it, but I never hiked it. And today is a day that we will actually hike it. So it's going to be so fun. I'm very excited for this opportunity. We're going to start with the Bronson Caves Trail. It's a short 0.6 mile in and out trail that you may have seen before in the Bat Cave scenes in the 1960s old Batman series, so that's going to be a lot of fun. I think they also have some beach pebbles there that is very aesthetically pleasing. And then we're going to take the Brush Canyon Trail. I think it's about five to five and a half mile trail in and out. This trail is going to be fun because we're going to be seeing the front of the Hollywood sign. Something that I will bring on this trail, on this hike, is this bag, which I will go over with you give you the full look at the Sojourner bag. so many different options but this one was the one that pulled me this is called laser holographic pink look how pretty it is oh my gosh I just love how aesthetically pleasing it is so aesthetically pleasing and vibrant and bright look how eye-catching that is oh my gosh this is like perfect for a hike or especially like a music festival even Burning Man like this would grab everyone's attention. Perfect for those who want to stand out at like a Coachella or Burning Man, as I said, or even an EDM or EDC event. During those kinds of gatherings, it's really important for you to have the necessities and also to stay hydrated. This is perfect because it is super functional and convenient. I'm holding it right now and I'm just surprised how light it is. It's light as a feather. Something really nice is on the back. I love these straps. I've noticed that they have these like little blue dots. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's so beautiful. It's nice, small, and compact. I don't want a backpack that's giant because you don't want a huge thing to lug around. This is nice, small, beautiful, and very secure and functional. So awesome. If I want to print something, I can right here, through here. I'm going to transfer all my stuff in my purse into here. Now let's get to packing.
more items to put in. I have my tissue, a floss pick, and some bug spray. I'm gonna put this in here. The small stuff I wanna put in there. This is perfect. It's calling my name to put it in here. There you go. And also to put this in there. There you go. You can put so much stuff in such a small backpack. It's so awesome. All right. Let's go and show you. bags doesn't just want to carry your water we want to bring the party our fun bright colorful prints and patterns are a perfect way to stay hydrated in any situation we have all their socials sojourner bags i will show you the hydro pack nice instructions in here so let me just take it off there you go i love that it is fully adjustable and customizable to all sizes you can see it's good for the shoulder strap the chest and even the waist Besides the adjustable straps and all the support that it can give you so that it stays put whether you're going on a hike or you're dancing the night away or just being very active. Right here they have this material. They have these lays nicely on your back, very snug on your back. They have two very big deep pocket zippers right here, a little one right here and look I'm going to try it out. Nicely designed zippers. They have these little knickknacks, put maybe hand sanitizer or something small right here. They have two of these, which is not big enough to put the water bottle, which you don't need because you have the hydration pack, but you can put little coins or tissues or little things. Right here also you can put little knickknacks as well. I'm going to start by opening up the hydration pack. This is going to be in the biggest pocket. This is what it looks like inside. You can kind of see a lot of room here. It says Sojourner bags. They even have another pocket right here where you can put small stuff, maybe your wallet, something more secure. This is what the bag looks like. Look at that. This is a two liter water bladder, BPA free, antimicrobial, and it's also FDA approved. I'm going to clean it out and show you what the process is like. First off, let's just open it. We're all doing this together, guys. Ooh, I like it. So they have this right here, which you can use to drink from. Instructions. I love how big this is. We could put some ice in there if we wanted to or some nice cold drinks. Looks giant. That's very convenient to have. It goes all the way, it extends for the tube. This one is very long. It looks like there are no kinks that can be had. It's a kink-free product. And this one is also a one-handed shut-off. Very convenient as well. I'm going to go ahead and put some water in here. I just filled the hydration pack with some water. This part, it's very easy to turn it on and turn it off. I have the long valve, which has an easy shut off access. So let's do it. I'm going to put it inside of the backpack. I'm gonna put it right where it was before. It's in there. I found this little opening right here. 
right here i know it's really hard to see on camera but they have a little hole right there in the corner where you can put it through to be right here if you didn't know you would just leave it like this it's fine but it's not as aesthetically pleasing as not being able to see the valve coming out of the backpack so i'm going to demonstrate how to do that i just learned and it's really cool it's like a secret passageway it reminds me of the secret garden right there and you can see it it came out close it like that I have this right here, like that. I can make it even more stable by putting it through here. Which is why I love all of these options right here. Better views on the hike. Now I'm going to try drinking from the valve. Gotta bite it. Pretend you're a baby and suck on it. Try to get the water out. That's how it works. I love that because it is activated by the bite. It is very hard to make it leak, which is a very nice feature. For the hydration pack, the water feature, you can keep the blue cap on or off. But for extra safety when you're not using it to drink your beverage, I would recommend that you just keep it on and it fits like a glove, super nice. On their website, they have a lot of different options. They also have fanny packs and bandanas. This is just one thing. Think about it, if this design is so cool and stylish, think about all the other things. I will have a link to Sojourner bags in my description. I hope you guys check it out. We made it to the Bronson Caves. It's right there. You cannot go inside, but we can still take a look. Bronson's cave and they filmed the Batman here TV series in the 1960s you can see the Batmobile featured here it's super dark So dark and you need to watch your head otherwise you'll hit yourself Just finished going to Bronson Caves. Got some nice pictures. It was definitely not bad. Now we're going the same way that we were coming in and we're going to hike the Hollywood sign. I'm wearing Sojourner bag. I'm just going to put the straps on here and I feel a little bit more secure. Like that. And like that. Yay! This is the Brush Canyon Trailhead and it will take us all the way up to the front of the Hollywood sign. I was talking about how there's horse poop on the trail. You can see the little nuggets. So don't step on them. Look at the leaves, yellow.
take this trail all the way there and then we have to go like that and then the Hollywood sign is right here We are 1.2 miles from the Hollywood sign. It's so exciting and the view is incredible. You can see the detailed skyline over there. There are horses actually yeah, behind us. Like We're almost there. Horse, horses behind us. Wow. The Griffith Observatory is right here, and the Hollywood sign is up here. Let's keep on going. golden hour too
pictures and videos in front of the Hollywood sign. It wasn't an easy hike. Definitely well worth it, even though it was hard at times, the uphill. But look at how beautiful everything is, especially we see the sunset. It's gorgeous. Guys, check out the link in the description to check out Sojourner bags. And I hope that you enjoy them because I want to get all of these. I want to get the fanny pack and the bandana. Have an amazing day. Stay peaceful, stay positive, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.